Welcome to my channel. My name is Matias. Today we're going to cover Avengers issue 10 from the Hickman era. And this is a pretty interesting issue because something goes down here that I've never seen in an Avengers story in my whole life. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in the first issue of this run, we had Ex Nihil who had bombarded Earth from Mars with these terraforming bombs that hit all over the globe and one fell in Canada, Regina, Canada. And now we have a team of Alpha Flight has gone in to investigate what happened to the city. Now we discovered that this mission for Alpha Flight went terribly wrong. Almost the whole team got killed by this very hostile vegetation. One member's left called Validator and she is missing in action. So what happens is Department H calls on S.H.I.E.L.D. and S.H.I.E.L.D. calls in on the Avengers to go in and investigate what had happened. So now we have the Avengers, they have arrived to the city. It has been completely terraformed. It's completely unrecognizable. We have these little alien beings running around the city and they indicate where they have to go, where to find Validator. Also with the Avengers, there's a liaison from Department H that when they encounter Validator, he goes up to her and she says something to his ear and then she blasts everyone there with this weird time distortion thing. Now all the Avengers are seeing their complete lives from the past all the way into the future. They don't know how to take this in. It's just way too much for them to process. And what happens is freaking priceless because the Avengers realize they're way in over their heads and they just leave. And when they go back to Shields, they tell Shields like, don't go there. Just forget about it. Abandon that city. And at least for me, I find this to be super interesting to see a story where we have the Avengers go in. They realize they've bitten off more than they can chew. They can't resolve the situation by blasting or punching things and they have to pull back, regroup and you see that some of the members on the team are very shaken from what they've gone through. The agent from Department H that was with them during the mission actually commits suicide at the rendezvous point when they're going to be picked up by S.H.I.E.L.D. because the guy has recorders in his eyes and he doesn't want Department H or S.H.I.E.L.D. to see what they went through and we get the big revelation that validator is his daughter so he wants to protect her too so i'm gonna leave this video here i hope you guys liked it see you guys next time bye